Hey everybody. I just want to shoot another quick video here of my brand new tank. This is my crayfish tank and it's about as close as I'm going to get to a native tank this summer most likely. We'll see. But in the meantime I've got it so I'm certainly going to utilize it for any lessons I can learn and any fun we can have and we should have lots of good video coming up uh, with this tank over the summer. I've already got some good drama going on with the crayfish that are in there. Uh, but we're going to get to that a little later. I just set this tank up very, very recently, two days ago in fact, and it is not even remotely cycled in yet, nothing. And it's got four decent sized crayfish in there, two fairly large and two medium sized, or medium small I would say. So the bio load in there is pretty heavy, and I went and tested the water this morning for ammonia as I did yesterday, it was through the roof yesterday, and the water was all cloudy and funky, and I did a great, great big water change, I basically swapped the water out and put fresh water in, and today I decided I was going to go have a look at the ammonia again just to see how much ammonia buildup we got in roughly a 24 hour period, a little less than that, about 20 hours uh, since I did the original water change, and I'm about to do another one now. Um, and when I checked the ammonia, I just kind of had to laugh uh, to myself. I'm not worried about the cycle. This video is not going to be about the cycle or anything like that. Uh, I'm not concerned about where it is in its progress or how fast it's going to go or anything. The crayfish in there are tough as nails. Uh, we're going to see lots of them come and go over the summer. There's no sentimental value there. Uh, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just curious about it. I wanted to see what the ammonia values would be overnight. So when I looked at the vial, it just made me smile because it just brought back to my memory so many times I've talked to people and I've asked them you know how the water in their tank was and they'd tell me it was fine and I'd say well give me some numbers you know what was this or what was that and I would always get well I don't have a test kit it's just the water looks great the water looks crystal clear well that's crystal clear water everybody I mean that's about as beautiful as you get it looks like I just did a water change five minutes ago so take a good look and now let's go take a good look at what my ammonia vial looks like and I guess maybe we can even test the nitrites too although I suspect there won't be any yet because the cycle has not even begun so let's go look at the ammonia vial and then we will decide whether or not you can tell by looking whether or not your tank is in good shape or not alright everybody there we go now the important vial we're looking at here is the one on the left and it's that dark green one. If there were fish in that tank they would most definitely be dead. I'm probably up at five or six parts per million uh, ammonia by now. If the pH was low like it is in my other tanks uh, around 6.4, 6.5 that would not be so concerning. That ammonia would actually be bound up with an additional hydrogen ion and it would become ammonium and therefore harmless. I did check the pH of this tank just to be certain and it is about 7.4 where it comes out of my tap since I just did a water change yesterday. Not surprising. So that is very much ammonia in that water and if they were fish in there they'd be dead. They're crayfish however so they're fine. Uh, crayfish can actually crawl out of the water if it gets too unpleasant for them. I've seen some crayfish in some funky buckets of nasty water. In fact that's where they came from. They came from one of my bait buckets not from uh, directly from the stream. They've been living in a bucket in my basement for about a week before they got that nice tank they're in now. So they're probably a lot happier where they are now uh, than they were in that bucket. Moving on the center vial as I suspected is zero on the nitrite. And I do actually have some nitrate building up in there, which is interesting. Uh, for thoroughness, I tested my tap water, and my tap water nitrates are there off to the right, and they are a little elevated, about 5, 10 parts per million. Um, that means they're really high in the groundwater because I do have a fairly elaborate system uh, for my water, and part of that system removes the nitrates, and I should really be showing zero nitrates. So I'm going to have to double check, make sure uh, I'm not in need of a backwash or adding salt to the system or something. Uh, I am getting a little bit of nitrates in my tap water, but no biggie. I definitely have more nitrates in the tank water than I do in my tap water, though, so that's interesting. Um, I did put some starter culture in there from another tank. I swished some of the biomedia around just to get some, you know, culture in there. So perhaps there is a little bit of nitrifying bacteria in there that is doing a little bit of work but it is dealing with the nitrites and not the ammonia and that's why I'm getting a little bit of a buildup of the uh, nitrate. Any way you slice it, if there were fish in that tank they'd be dead and the water was absolutely crystal clear and beautiful. So let's go have a look at it again for any final thoughts and I'll show you the little changes I made and discuss plans for the future. Alright everybody, that is after the water change. It looks pretty much the same 
Uh, made a few minor changes though already. I decided that for filming purposes, that is actually something I take into consideration when I set up my tanks. I do a lot of video, I do a lot of photography of my tanks. Uh, on that note, if you don't follow me on Google+, Plus, go ahead and start following my aquaria collection because I do a lot of photography of my animals as well. Um, so keeping that in mind, lighting is important for me. Uh, I will do a video about lighting in this tank for that very purpose, uh, for the purposes of videoing. Uh, the way I can move this gooseneck light around really, really changes the lighting in this tank and really changes the feel for any kind of video I might want to do. So that's interesting in its own right. But I did move that plant from right here. I had that temple plant where this little plant is now. Um, let me try to figure out what I'm saying here. <laughs> this temple plant that is now in the back was planted right where this um, philodendron like plant is this plant was over here so I moved the temple plant and then I moved this over to there the reason I did that was because the other change I made was I positioned a rock under there not only to give some better cave structure for the crayfish but to give me a nice level platform to put my little square underwater camera so we can do some really cool tank cam uh, type photography in here which brings me back to my original point of wanting to move some of those plants around just to let the light in a little bit better uh, so we can get some good feeding videos, we can get some good fighting videos. Uh, I do have four crayfish in here, so don't get any sentimental attachment to any of them. They fight like demons, they're territorial, and in the end we're going to have one big crayfish in here, not four. Um, I also have no problem just pulling them out and using them for bait if I need them for bait. This tank is set up as a little play tank. Uh, I've just got no sentimental attachment to any of these crayfish at all. And if you think that sounds cruel, uh, keep this last little tidbit in mind that the nervous system of a crayfish is actually less sophisticated than that of a cockroach. And in some parts of the country they call crayfish mud bugs. And mud bug is a fairly accurate description. They really are somewhat like bugs that are more animal-like than bug-like but their nervous system is extremely unsophisticated and they are very much like bugs in the tank so if you don't have any problems stepping on a cockroach uh, then you should not really have any issue with crayfish fighting and dying because they will tear each other apart uh, literally limb from limb and eat each other uh, right now the larger one that's in here that you can see right there has actually sloughed so he is now a soft shell and as a soft shell, it's extremely vulnerable, and that's why you can see it's hiding in the corner and just trying to stay out of the way, even of these little small ones that I've got in here. And he's already missing a claw. As of last night, he was fully intact. I did watch the medium-sized crayfish, the one, there it is, right there. See, he's coming out to be aggressive with me. He just sees something moving around in front of his little cave, and he's coming out to attack it. Really, really aggressive little beasts. Um, but I did watch him grab and tear one of the legs off of the larger one last night And now when I woke up this morning that large one's missing a claw So I would imagine that one had a nice dinner last night and this poor little guy who is actually trying to get up out of the water now uh, Will grow his claw back without issue So I've mentioned it before that they do actually climb up and out of the water quite often when I come in in the morning and turn the lights on A lot of times they'll skitter and I'll, I'll hear splashing they'll be sitting up on the rocks and they'll jump back into the water Really, really interesting little animals. So, this was only meant to be a lesson about checking and testing your water, but as usual, it just sort of rambled into something altogether different. So, there's your first real good look at some action in my crayfish tank. I hope you learned your lesson about checking your water. You cannot see ammonia, nitrite, or nitrate. Test your water, test your water, test your water. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. As you can imagine, there's lots of good stuff coming up, lots of fun we're going to have with this tank over the summer, and I'll see you real soon on the next one.